In this video, we will discuss how we can calculate the height of a binary tree using iterative method. Let's first understand what do we mean by height of a tree. So height of any node is the longest path from the node to the leaf and height of tree is the height of its root. So in this example, A is the root node. So the leaf nodes are K, E, B and C. So the distance of A from K is 3. So there are three edges AD, DH and HK. And from the other leaf node, so distance of A from E is 4. So this is one edge, second, third and fourth. Distance of A from B is 2 because one edge and two edges. And distance of A from C is also 2. So these four are leaf nodes K, E, B, C. And the distance of A is maximum from E. So height of A is 4. So we just have to calculate the distance of that node from all the leaf nodes and then have to find the maximum. So that will be the height of that node. And height of the tree is equal to the height of its root. So this example height of the tree is 4. Now there are some properties that height of the empty tree is minus 1 and height of any leaf node is 0. Because the reference point is the leaf node. So the height of any leaf node is 0. Now in some books you may find another definition for height where it is considered that height is the maximum number of nodes from the leaf node. For A the maximum number of nodes will be 5 because A D L P E. So in those books height of the empty tree is considered as 0. So there are two definitions of height but as per me the correct definition of height is the maximum number of edges that a node is far from the leaf nodes. So in this example node A is 4 edges apart from the leaf node. So the height of this tree is 4. So we'll consider this definition of the height of the tree and then we'll try to see how we can calculate the height of each node. So in this example height of K is 0 because it is a leaf node. So mark height of all the leaf nodes as 0. Height of H is 1 because it is one edge apart from the leaf node. Height of D is 3 because it is three edges apart from E. Height of L is 2. Height of P is 1 because it is one edge apart from E. And height of Z is 1. Now in this way, we can just check what is the maximum number of edges that a node is apart from any leaf node. That will be the height of that node. Now based on this definition, we'll see the pseudo code for calculating the height of the tree. So the height of a binary tree can be calculated both using recursive and iterative manner. The recursive method I've already explained in my previous video. If you want to refer that you can check the link in the description or in the top right corner. Now here the focus is on the iterative method. Let's see the algorithm. So the first step is we keep a variable height and we initialize it with minus one. This is because height of a null tree is minus one. In the second step we create an empty queue. So this is our queue and now we push the root node in the queue. So in this tree A is the root node. So we push A in the queue. Then we have this while loop which we run till the queue is not empty. So the queue has one element in it. So we come inside and here we increment the height variable. So the height is now 0. Then we check size of the queue. So size of the queue is 1. Then we have this while loop which we run till size is greater than 0. We come inside it and we decrement the size. So size becomes 0. We keep a variable current which we initialize with front of the queue. So current is A. Then we pop from the queue. We remove the front element. So we remove A. Then we check if left of A is not equal to null. So left of A is D which is not equal to null. So we push D in the queue. And then we check right of A. So right of A is Z. So we push Z to the queue. Now we again come in the while condition. We check size. So size is 0. We come out of this while loop. And now we come in the outer while loop. Here we check if Q is empty. So Q is not empty. So we increment the height. So height is now 1. We check size of the queue. So size of the queue is 2 because there are two elements. We check if size is greater than 0 and then we decrement the size. So size becomes 1. We set current to front of the queue. So current becomes D. 
and then we pop from the queue. So we pop D from the queue. Then we check left of D. So left of D is H. So we push H to the queue. And then we check right of D. So right of D is L. So we push L to the queue. Now we again come in this while condition. We check if size is greater than zero, then we decrement the size. So size is now zero. We set current to front of the queue. So current becomes Z. We pop from the queue. So we remove Z. And then we check left of Z. So left of Z is B. So we push B to the queue. And then we check right of Z. So right of Z is C. So we push C to the queue. So if you see here, all the elements of one level are in the queue. So the elements of the level two are HLBC. So all of these are in the queue. Whenever we are changing the level, we are incrementing the height. So this is similar to level order traversal that we have discussed earlier. So basically in this method, we are traversing the tree in level order manner and at each level we are incrementing the height. So now we again check this while condition. So size is zero. We come out of this while loop and we check the outside while loop. So here Q is not empty. So we increment the height variable. So the height is now two. We check size of Q. So size of Q is four. We come inside this while and we decrement the size. So size becomes three. Current is front of Q, which is H. We pop from the Q, so we remove H. Then we check left of H. So left of H is K, so we push K in the Q. And then we check right of H. So right of H is null. So this if condition is false. Then we again check if size is greater than zero. We decrement the size, so size becomes two. Current becomes equal to front of Q, which is L. We pop from the queue, so we pop L. Then we check left of L. So left of L is null, so we skip this if condition. And then we check right of L. So right of L is P, so we push P to the queue. In the next iteration, we again check if size is greater than zero. Now we decrement the size, so size becomes one. Current is front of Q, which is B. We pop from the queue, so we remove B. Then we check left of B. So left of B is null. So we skip this if condition and then we check right of B. So right of B is also null. So we skip this if condition. In the next iteration, size is greater than zero. So we decrement the size. So size becomes zero. Current is front of Q, which is C. We pop from the Q. So we remove C. Then we check left of C. So left of C is null. So we skip this if condition. And right of C is also null. So we skip this if condition too. Now we again check if size is greater than zero. So size is zero now. So we come out of this while condition and we go in the outer while loop. Now in the outer while loop, we check if Q is empty and we come inside and we increment the height. So the height becomes three. We check size of the Q. So size of the Q is two. We check if size is greater than zero. Then we decrement the size. So size becomes one. We set current to front of the Q, which is K. We pop from the queue, so we remove k. Then we check left of k. So left of k is null, so we skip this if condition, and then we check right of k. Right of k is also null, so we skip this if condition as well. In the next iteration, we check if size is greater than zero. We decrement the size, so size becomes zero. We set current to front of the queue, which is p. We pop from the queue, so the queue becomes empty. We check left of p. So left of P is null. So we skip this if condition and then we check right of P. So right of P is E. So we push E to the Q. In the next iteration, we check if size is greater than zero. So size is zero now. We come out of this while loop. Now we check the outer while loop if Q is empty. So Q is not empty. We come inside and we increment the height. So the height is now four. We check size of Q. So size of Q is one. We come inside this while and we decrement the size. The size becomes zero. Current becomes equal to front of Q, which is E. We pop from the Q, so Q becomes empty. We check left of E. So left of E is null, so we skip this if condition. And right of E is also null, so we skip this if condition as well. Then we check if size is greater than zero. So size is zero now, so we come out of this while loop. And then we come in the outer while loop, 
and we check if Q is empty. So Q is empty now. So this while loop also terminates. And the last step is we return this height variable. So the height is four. So this is the height of the tree. So basically we are doing a level order traversal and whenever we change the level, we increment the height variable. So there are four levels here. So the height is four. If we look at the time complexity of this method, time complexity is order of n because we are traversing the each node only once. So once we've understood this method, let's have a look at the implementation. All the source code that I'll be showing is available in my GitHub repository. Link of that is available here and as well as in the description. Now let's have a look at the code. In the main function, I've created this tree. So the root node is A and the left of A is D. So in this way, I've initialized all the nodes of the tree. Then I have this function height iterative in which I pass the root node. In this method, I initialize the height with minus one. If the root is null, I return minus one. Otherwise, I create a queue of type tree node and I push the root node. Then I have this while loop, which I run till the queue is not empty. I increment the height and I check size of the queue. And this inner while loop, I run till size is greater than zero. I decrement the size. I set current to front of queue and then I push left and right of current if they're not equal to null. So these while loop run till all the nodes are traversed and at the end I return the height variable. And in the main function, I'm printing the height. Let's see the output of this program. So the height of the tree using iterative method is four, which is equal to the maximum number of edges that A is apart from any leaf node. So A is four edges apart from the node E. So the height of the tree is four. So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.